My name is Kemi Alibi. Uh, I'm president of Speak for Yourself, B's one and only spoken word group, and I am I'm a senior uh, majoring in political science and philosophy, not English, not creative writing, political science. So Speak for Yourself was started six years ago um, by uh, Sam Sleba and Justin Lamb. There was no spoken word club at BU, and I mean, they had been to the Cantab, the Lizard Lounge, they, you know, they were into deaf poetry jam. They were in, spoken word was around, and it's definitely around in Boston, but it didn't have a presence at BU. So they created a club, it started off small, and they didn't think that it would last past them. They thought they'd graduate and the club would fade out. Um, but it's still here. Luckily, we've been able to change leadership enough and keep it going, uh, keep interest, around and now on campus people know us they ask for speak for yourself to perform at events you know um, do you know more love speak for yourself you know it's now it's definitely become a, a big part of this campus because of them I joined speak for yourself when I was a freshman I saw them at splash I was looking for some poetry group you know some literary society and I saw um, I saw these kids on top of the table screaming poetry and I thought no yeah I wouldn't be with them and uh, later, it took me some time because it's really intimidating, but later that semester I joined Speak and I've been with it ever since. Spoken word has been around forever and sometimes people like to treat it like it's this new phenomenon. But language, language is spoken. That's how it started. Uh, and spoken word poetry specifically, I, I think that um, poetry on the page. I, I love poetry on the page, but sometimes it feels really alienating to have this um, private thing on a page that some brilliant poet who you don't understand has, has, has written this thing down. And sometimes it's, it, it doesn't connect with people in the way language is supposed to. Language is you know, the way that we communicate with one another. It's the way that we express these thoughts. We pull these abstract things down into words that we can then share with somebody else. And I think that when you take away that spoken element, it, it takes away that connection, that idea of communication that is inherent to the idea of language. And so I love spoken word poetry so much because it, it, it bridges that divide between um, reading something, the written word, um, and communication by, by adding, adding some spoken words to it.